Have you often wondered why you've had just some deep conversations with people and they say things that they admire about you, but it's also the very things that they admire about you that it really scares them. All of a sudden they began to act strange. They began to run, to hide. They began to see you and walk in the opposite direction. But it was the same person or people, a group or organization that said to you, you're such a strong person. You come with your heart in everything and you are 100% powerful. See, I want you to understand that as a chosen one, that our walk is a little bit different from anyone else's walk in this dimension. As a chosen one, you have such a powerful calling of your on your life. And a lot of times people, they scatter. They scatter because of the power that you have been graced with, because the authority that you have yet to awaken that you have, because of the the, the spirit of change that you carry in the core of your gut, what all creation is, is that part of you that scares people in this environment. See, people say that they're ready for change, that they're ready to walk into the unknown, that they're ready to be set free, they're ready to live a dream, but you represent change. Your whole the dynamic, your whole setup from a spiritual level is change. And when you walk into a room, they take notice. They take notice mainly because it is the the spirit of God on the inside of you that's so heavily laced in everything on the inside of you. I want you to understand that on a cellular level, the atoms of your cell are fully connected to the spirit of God. They see your power. They see your authority. They see your potential. They see your love. They see your ability to break a stronghold and it scares them. They say that they are, they admire you, but yet they shun you and they walk away. They know that you are the one thing that could really change that whole company, that can change that whole organization that can really upgrade everyone around you. But isn't it interesting that the spirit inside of them shuns you because they're resistant to change? I want to go as far as saying that it ain't even them. How many of you know that our biggest competitor, <clears throat> our biggest sparring partner is the adversary? And the adversary has been able to control the consciousness on this planet for so very long. And now since God has awakened you, you can always tell when he's in the crevices of somebody's mind because they do everything that they can to stop you. But I want you to take notice and I want you to understand that nothing can stop you. I want you to continue to awaken to the potential, to the power, and to the authority that God has given you. I want you to understand that when they deny you and when they walk away from you and they turn your back, their backs on you, I want you to understand that you have more power. I want you to know and I want you to feel the excitement, the enthusiasm as the Spirit of God begins to penetrate throughout your whole being. Because I want you to know that if God can be for you, who can be against you? You are here to do a work, a miraculous work, a miraculous thing in this dimension that no one has been able to do. It is a great awakening and God has awakened you. He has put you into this position to represent a change. Change makes people feel uncomfortable. Change scares the hell out of people. You scare the hell out of hell because they understand that you are here to change the game. The devil is shaking in his boots today because he understands that you finally realize who you are today. The enemy is afraid today because he knows that no longer will you allow him to feed on your energy, to feed on your emotions, to feed on your lifestyle, to feed on your mind, that you are fully awakened and that you are going to protect your temple because you understand that you have a guest that resides consistently on the inside of you. And it's the king of kings, the lords of lords. It's the heavenly host, the spirit 
of the living God, you know that you have someone advocating for you in heavenly places. They came down here and walked the walk and talked the talk and lived the life. He felt every possible emotion that you carry. And he knows how it feels to be taken for granted. He knows how it feels to be misunderstood. He knows how it feels to have words that he say twisted and used against him. He knows how it is to have somebody that's in his core group that will kiss him and turn him over to be crucified. He knows what you carry. And that's why you have so much support in heavenly places. They see the power of God on the inside of you. They admire what you carry. But at the same time, they either hate you for it, you scare them, and they're uncomfortable with you. Let them be uncomfortable, baby, because you're chosen. And what that means is that you have been awakened from God to change the game. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe in you. Bye now.